Yeah, yeah. What's going on there, YouTube? All right, guys. Happy Thanksgiving. It's the day after Turkey Day. Hope you all are doing well. Hope you all got to be safe. Enjoy the day. Be thankful for whatever's good in your lives. Be thankful for the opportunities you have to make your lives better. And on and on and on. Anyway, um, put up a video yesterday on Thanksgiving related to the uh, topic of buying cars, in particular buying cars or considering uh, buying cars, being seduced by the temptation of buying cars on days like Black Friday. And uh, just some kind of random thoughts about that. Anyway, um, I wanted to continue the topic about buying cars with respect to Hellcats. Hellcats. And what's gone on with Hellcats? Uh, about a week or two ago, I posted a video on my YouTube channel. By the way, welcome to the channel. There's a video of me at 16 years old back in 1991 in my driveway washing my dad's GTO 68 goat and uh, it was a good time man it was a kind of, it's kind of a peek into you know my roots uh, muscle car roots you know um, the GTO was part of the family back then you know it wasn't just the car it was the GTO and as I am a dad now with a couple little ones you know the Challenger or the Challengers I've owned have been the same type of thing you know it's the Challenger it's not you know the car and that's a that's a great thing that's a beautiful thing man and those of you who maybe be able to relate to that can understand why anyway I mentioned the GTO because there's a that color of that goat is a, a color called verduro green it's a very dark very rich green and if you know your Pontiacs you know your old muscle cars you'll know the color I'm talking about for 2018 FCA has unveiled to us is issuing a new color a new green called f8 green or fate green if you want to call it that it's a throwback to the past though it's it's, it's a bit more of a modern version of it now it's got some gold flake in it. it's really nice it's, it's nice it's not an overpowering flake but uh it, it's enough to you know it, it's impressive man it looks good i think and anyway um i'm mentioning that because uh <laughs> With respect to buying cars, of course, you know, I've uh, I'm, this here is my my SRT 392. It's the fourth Challenger I've owned in four and a half years, and <laughs> five for five. What do you say? Well, um, not yet, not yet. Um, and uh, if I do, uh, you know, it may be time to get a keeper. You know, the way I've approached these cars, guys, have, has been kind of like you know, I don't let finance. Um, um, uh, materialistic things take over my life I don't get all too too worked up about the car I mean I enjoy them I like taking care of them it's my hobby but I don't you know when I'm ready to move on I just kind of throw them away and move on to the next thing you know it's not like a uh, I'm obsessed with the car and the car is part of my identity but uh, I am thinking about maybe what would be that long-term keeper because you know this car right here is a great one um, and I could have it for quite a while, but I, it doesn't ring me in the same way that, say, my dad's GTO did, which he had for almost 30 years. So I'm thinking, all right, man, you know, if you're going to do it, you know, what's something that would be really cool to get? And so what I'm thinking about would be really cool to get at some point would be a Hellcat um, six-speed manual uh, Challenger, of course, uh, in, in this new F8 green color. I think that for me would just, you know, tie a nice bow on it on the whole thing pretty nicely now um, a few things number one I'm not going to be buying a new Challenger because there is no reason to buy a new Challenger because of what's going on in the used market now for me what that means is that I'll be waiting for a while to get an F8 green because right now it's the end of November 2017 F8 green is a 2018 color the only thing available is new cars and in fact in this part of the country, there are very few of these F8 greens that I've seen around. Um, just searching on uh, auto traders and car gurus and all that has yielded very, very few hits in terms of local uh, opportunities to see what the color looks like in person, let alone get like the perfect car that I wanted. Anyhow, moving on. 
when I look at the, the used challenger market, it's a pretty fascinating story, guys. Um, let's, let's wind the clock back to 2014 when they announced that in 2015, the Challenger was getting a refresh and the Hellcat was going to be revealed. There have been rumors of for quite some time. And uh, tip the old hat to FCA for one of the most brilliant marketing campaigns um, that we've ever seen, which is to hint that the car is rumored to have more than 600 horsepower when you know they knew well in advance it was gonna be you know, over 700. And even more than 707, by the way, guys, if you've been seeing any of the dyno tests on Challenger Hellcats, Charger Hellcats, without a tune, just put them on the dyno, they're showing that they're considerably higher than that, okay? Let alone if you do a tune to it or if you do other things to it. Anyway, so that was all the hype. And people were paying well over MSRP to get their hands on one of these things. Uh, Dealers were just being ruthless, doing $25,000, $40,000 markups for these things, and people were buying them. And now, ironically, what's been very interesting, what's happened since then, is that FCA has decided to flood the market with Hellcats. So something that was very rare and very special initially has become something that is just abundantly available to anybody who can afford it, right? So 2016, they make a ton of cha- a ton of more Hellcats, and then the following year, 2017. Now they make even more. Um, so the market gets flooded with these cars. What then also happens this year that's of note at FCA? Well, two bits of news. One, we heard that the last uh, Viper was rolling off the assembly line, and uh, people were thinking, "Oh, great, my Hellcat's the top Halo car now." Well. No, it's not the top Halo cat car anymore because FCA is announcing the Dodge Demon, which of course blows the Hellcat away in terms of um, you know its numbers, uh, power numbers, and so forth. Um, the numbers on the zero to sixty, by the way, um, are pretty amazing when you look at it, um, and that's all you need to know, right? I mean, the, the Demon speaks for itself as the new, you know. Uh, top of the top of the king of the hill, you know, um, of Halo car for FCA and arguably for the world in, in certain respects. Now that pissed off a lot of Hellcat owners, right? Especially people who paid top dollar for them. Uh, and to add insult to injury, uh, FCA announced that they're going to do another new Hellcat, the wide body, you know which is a little bit better. I mean, it's got these flares on it. I know those things are, you know, some people like them, some people don't. Got wider tires and some other things. And the thing does it is a tenth of a second faster in the zero to 60. Okay, all that for an extra eight grand. Um, Which has got people who are, again, traditional Hellcat owners a little pissed off because now they're number three in the chain. So you factor all these things. You factor, okay, this isn't the top of the line challenger anymore. In fact, that's number three. You factor in the oversaturation of the Hellcat market with over, with what you could arguably say has been overproduction of these cars, especially of the Challengers in these last two years. And now let's factor in also another thing, which is the fact that as people are having their Hellcats who are current owners of them, they are only putting on miles on them, they're only putting on years on them, which means as time goes on, the depreciation continues and continues. Now, adding all these factors, folks, I want you to do, do, your, do, your, do a little test when you're done watching this video, okay? Go on to eBay Motors, you've all been on eBay Motors, I'm sure, and you know as they list cars, well, here's what I want you to do. Do a search for Dodge Challenger, on eBay Motors, okay? Don't do Challenger Hellcat or SRT or anything like that. Just put in Dodge Challenger and do a search on eBay Motors. And you know on eBay, the way it's laid out, you have rows and you have like four or five cars per row, right? You will notice, and check this out and test it, that in just about every row, there's at least one Challenger Hellcat for sale? At least one. Now, what does that mean? (laughs) 
Well, that means that uh, out of all the Dodge Challengers that are being sold out there, say on eBay Motors, at least 20% of them are Hellcats. So this car that was rare, a rare sight to see, something very, very special, and is still very special. I mean, let's, let's not kid ourselves. I mean, this is an awesome car, and forever it's going to have this wonderful story attached to it, right? I mean, it really injected some serious adrenaline into the muscle car wars, and it's a really exciting time. Uh, it's been the last couple of years here, right? But uh, let's just be you know, real honest about what we're seeing here. What we're seeing here is uh, the, just a, a, a race, not, I don't want to say a race to the bottom, but just um, a, a market for a particular car that is accelerating in its depreciation um, in, in certain respects. As time goes on and as people have more and more options to, to buy, or easy, it becomes easier for them to be able to buy a used Hellcat 707 plus horsepower, right? Um, you're seeing and it, it, you're seeing prices going downward. And if you go on to Car Gurus, if you go on to Auto Trader or even eBay Motors, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about here. Um, you will see Challengers 2017s. Now, again, as I'm making this video right now, it is November, the end of November 2017. So for 2017 model, a car is a year, less than a year old, right? It's still considered new. With a couple of thousand miles, you can buy a Challenger for mid-50s right now. Challenger Hellcat for mid-50s with only a couple of thousand miles on it. Um, that's 15 grand roughly less than what that person likely paid new for that car. Okay, 2,000 miles, the car's still brand new. So you drive, and imagine what that guy got when he traded the vehicle in. Okay, if he, if he was lucky, he got 50 grand for it, which means he lost at least $25,000 if you factor in the, the, the cost of the tax and everything else, at least 25 grand just having that car and turning it in like that. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty crazy uh, what we're seeing. So, um, you know, what I want to, uh, I'm interested in, 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 in looking at what happens with the Hellcat market, guys, uh, because of the fact that, you know, those of us who are interested in becoming a Hellcat owner at some point um, are going to have some real, real opportunities uh, and have real opportunities beginning now. And here's what I say, guys, if you're at all interested, the point of all this is that if you're at all interested in getting a Hellcat, now is the time you want to not buy necessarily, but start planning, start looking, start um, getting yourself in a position where you can do this. Now, in other words, if you've got a car now that you'd be trading in, you know, making that decision, okay, um, would I be selling it privately? Would I be trading in? Am I upside down in the car? Do I have any positive equity in the car? I'm going to be able to draw from it. Um, what exactly do I want to get? You know, what's the optimum? Because if you, you're going to be you know, spending some time uh, getting what you want, um, you might as well get exactly what you want. So, you know, is there a particular color? Is there a particular trim? A particular transmission? Um, all that other type of stuff. A particular set of wheels that you want to make sure the car has. A uh, sunroof, without a sunroof. All these things, you know, which particular year um, did you want? Um, if that, how much of a, that, of a difference that makes to you. Um, what mileage range you want to keep it in. All these types of things really start figuring out in your mind what is it that I actually want to get here? And then start actually, you know, taking baby steps towards getting yourself in that position. Because guys, here's what's going to happen. A year from now, you're going to be able to go on eBay, on Auto Trader, wherever, very easily, and you're going to be able to find used Hellcats that are selling for less than $40,000. Um, I saw one online yesterday, last night. It was a Challenger Hellcat. It had, I forget, somewhere between 25 and 30,000 miles on it. It was a 2015. And uh, it was being, they were asking 45 grand for it. Asking. Which means if you are worth anything as, a, as, as, a, as someone who can negotiate for a car, you are walking out of there with that thing low 40s, no problem. All right? Basically, the cost of what you would pay for a new scat pack uh, with cloth seats. You know what I'm saying? 
So you've got some options, man. You're going to have a lot of options. We're all going to have options. So my view on this is really to uh, to be keeping a lookout. You know, I know what I want in my mind. I mean, I'd love an F8 green with the sepia caramel interior uh, with brass monkey wheels and six speed and all this other stuff, right? I mean, I know in my mind what I'd love mine to be. Um, and even though it's very, very early to be looking at that particular uh, car, uh, given that the, the color was just issued, still my mind is, 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 is all over this, is thinking about it and stuff. Because uh, I'd love to have that, but I'll tell you, man, there are other colors that, um, that I could scoop up as well. So that's where my mind is at, guys. Um, hit me up in the, in the comments. Tell me what you guys are thinking. Um, I don't want anyone to think that this has the, been the definitive guide on what's going on with Hellcat pricing because it's not. Um, there are other factors that get played in there, um, in, in, in lots of factors. It also depends on where you live and, and all other types of things, right? So, um, But still, the fact of the matter is, is there are a lot of options out there to buy Hellcats, and we're seeing those prices come down almost... Uh, Almost got a little uh, fender bender there, a little uh, bumper thumper. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching it always. I better shut up before I get into a wreck here. <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe if you haven't. Take care.